Welcome back. It's time now for the business day. Kingston Wharves Limited and Jamaica Freight and Shipping are working to reduce the time customers spend on the port trying to clear goods. The initiative is being facilitated through a new online application called Click and Collect. Andrew Laidley reports. On a normal day at the port, customers wait an average two hours to clear goods. During peak season, that time increases to five hours. That's because the clearance process involves multiple agencies and documentation. Now, customers have the option of completing the process online, slashing the wait time to no more than 30 minutes. Head of Marketing and Client Services at Kingston Wharves, Simone Murdoch, explains. There are many stakeholders that one will have to come in contact with in in terms of clearing ocean freight, it's, it's, that's how the process is. And on any given day, on any given shipment, something may go wrong. And in correcting that in an expeditious manner, it may cause a, lot, a customer a lot of time and of course a lot of frustration. So what this click and collect provides is that that, that back and forth now is done by Kingston Wharves. So we've taken out the complication. Um, we know what we know that we can identify the errors, we can identify the gaps and solve all those problems for the customer. So the customer only has to be responsible for two steps payment and, and pick up. She says the initiative is also being introduced to reduce the spread of the coronavirus by limiting the amount of people using the facility at any given time. Sales and marketing manager at Jamaica Freight and Shipping, Anna Hamilton, says the online system allows for more efficiency since freight workers can now complete clearance overnight. Once the cargo is ready, we're able to then do everything overnight because we're, we're a 24-hour operation on the back end of things. So payments can be made overnight. Um, and then we, we still send over a representative to supervise the clearance of the cargo because we are responsible to our end customer. In the meantime, Ms. Murdoch stressed that security for the click and collect service is high. We have amplified our security uh, procedures around click and collect because we share and understand the sentiment that I'm therefore entrusting you. I'm not doing it myself. I'm not coming down here to do it myself. I'm entrusting you. So we have amplified security procedures around the click click and collect area it's a segregated area on the increased CCTV coverage and restricted movement in and out of that area is 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 in place Andrew Laidley TVJ News currency trading ended today with the greenback selling for $146.25 the Canadian dollar sold for $117.80 the pound sterling is going for $204.64 while the euro closed at $177.94 now, the Jamaica Stock Exchange has adjusted trading hours for two days in response to the new COVID-19 restrictions. Trading hours this Friday and next week, Thursday, April 1, will be 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. The change is to facilitate the noon business closure in keeping with the government's directive. The JSE Index lost 893 points today, while the Junior Market Index gained 21 points. Among the winners were Stationery and Office Supplies, CAC 2009.5%, JMMB Group 7.25%, 138 Student Living, and Indies Pharma. On the losing side were Consolidated Bakeries, Margaritaville Turks, Siboney Group, Caribbean Assurance Brokers, and Salada Foods. And that's it for the Business Day. International Stories, when we return.